Welcome back to another episode of Caps Off by the Game Day. Happy Cafeteria Day? It's weird. We're doing Cafeteria on Friday. Yeah. Well, we did that because there's no order. There's no predictions. Yeah, not nothing to predict yet. Next week. Predict the Pro Bowl. Is it NFC versus AFC? It's it's uh, Peyton versus Eli. Oh, is that what it is? I think so. Oh. I don't know if it's NFC, AFC. Team Peyton. Let's go. I would assume it would be Peyton yeah, coaching AFC bro. and Shout Eli coaching NFC Bula. if that were the case. By Honestly, the way, they don't, no play, they don't even play They don't even football anymore. anymore. They play fucking flag. Oh, yeah, they changed it to flag yeah. now, right? That's Which way, is better. way better. Way better. And they do all the skills challenges. Those are fun. I'll watch Yeah, them. no, it's not I'm, bad. I'll I know. tune into some of them. I like the dodgeball games. Cool. You know, it's like, I know we're going to I know we're going to make an announcement, but I just had a thought. of My ADD kicked in. Is that Have you guys seen like the new Hezbula Salt Bay type guy on TikTok? The mm. Mr. Wow guy? No. no. Oh, my Has God. Has Salt Bay like a combination of it's both? It's like, yeah, he's a minion. Um, <laughs> dwarf. <laughs> and he does his, like salt and, shit. And his, yellow. his thing is uh, uh, super wow. It's the cutest thing Let in the world. See. I got to show you. It's the cutest thing in the world. That's and what he, he just, says? He's, yeah, he does super wow. But what's good with the salt, though? No, he's oh. not. He's just a minion. Oh, he's a little guy. He's like, yeah. Little person. He did say he was a minion. I want I want you to both kind of wow. see this, but just I think it's important because we are big ha- Hasbulla fans, and now we're in the new era. You got to wait for him. He just chops up Whoa. the shit, dude. I don't know what they're brewing in in Turkey or wherever the fuck he's from, but like these guys are. Oh, awesome. this guy here? Yeah. Wait for it. Watch him. What? He, what? <laughs> Oh, he didn't do it though. No, he does. Good for glow. Good for glow. He doesn't seem like he's having a good day in this video. Super wow. So, what is he, a chef? Uh, a con artist? I don't know. He, he no, does no, no. look like Salt no, Bay, but he, mini. He, he's literally like, if you were to, it's like out of fucking, um, dude, uh, it's out of Austin Powers. It's, it's like hilarious. Dr. Evil and mini me. <laughs> That's crazy. It's literally the coolest thing in the That's world. That's insane. Dude, you got to see other videos. It's my whole TikTok feed now. It's literally it's just he'll this pick guy? up the ice cream and go. Ch- 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 Is that ice then, cream? Th- it looks like a banana. No, it's ice cream. He's making baklava. He's literally not doing anything special besides smacking the fucking baklava. But he's looking at the baklava and he's like, super wow. Super wow. And it's like, dude, this is. <laughs> His TikTok is Mr. Super wow. Dude, it's, he's going to be the next. He is the next Salpe. Good I for s- him, man. That's pretty dope. I'm happy I saw for him. It's Salt Bay and Salt Baby. He'll never reach Hezbollah status, though. No. I mean, they're so different. He's yeah. more salt bay. Yeah, he's more salt No, bay. he's salt baby. No, but he salt looks baby. like an adult. Him, he's so cute. Yeah, 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 he's different. He also seems like an asshole. Like, Hasbulla yeah, he looks like a look child. At him, look at him. Look at him. Ready? Oh, oh, there he goes. Super wow. The super wow weird. part is funny, man. That's I can't lie. Weird. It cracks me Super up. wow. But I'm sure I'll get annoyed. Okay, sorry. My ADD kicked in. That was uh, hilarious. Yeah, but we do have an, a little bit of an announcement to make. Some it's un- not that little. No, it's, it's a big announcement. It's a pretty big announcement. We have a pretty big announcement to make. <sighs> it is some Felipe's sad pregnant. news. Felipe's pregnant. Uh, Felipe, yeah. Adam got Felipe pregnant. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know how to say this. It's um, sad. Well, look, everyone knew that Jack had, had left to, to go to better for a better opportunity. And that was sad, but I think that was, um, we had been talking through this for the last couple of months of, of what was going to happen with Caps Off and what was best for us as individuals, even though we're all best friends and love doing this for two years. Um, and I think the best way to really just say it is that next week at the Super Bowl will be our last week of Caps Off, mm-hmm. which sucks. Um, it does suck. And the reasons for that is you want to... Yeah, um, obviously. You don't need to say A lot of changes happened. going on. Yeah. Um, and I decided to take a different opportunity somewhere else. Um, definitely very excited for it, but I'm starting there right after the Super Bowl. Um, and yeah, man, so I'm I'm unfortunately out. And I think it sounds like Felipe's got No, it doesn't sound it like too. it. Felipe's going to say yeah, something. I'm, yeah, no, I'm out too. Um <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. This is weird. Uh, no, nah, yeah, I'm just um, I'm just doing my own thing when it comes to entrepreneurship and consulting and stuff. So. Super wow. Uh, super wow on that wow. note. No, super sad. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Caps Off, it, it's, it, there's a closure, but I think you want to say something about it? Well, yeah, I mean, what? I was just going to say, like, obviously, the thing that we all have been really good about with each other is, like, prioritizing doing what is best for us yep. as individuals. And yep furthering our career as best as we can and like even though that this has been incredible and we've built out this amazing community of fans and followers and listeners and and just had an incredible time building out this this thing this kind of 
what's become a juggernaut. Yeah. Um, we do all have to do what is best for us, and um, even if that means moving on from caps off and and putting this this kind of this project to bed. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are going to wonder why, um, and to only to to the extent of that we can say is also that just more so circumstances didn't work out with us being here um, in this opportunity. You know, like I think we all wanted to continue doing caps off in some capacity, but unfortunately, obviously it didn't work out with Jack and and Jack needed to do what was best for him, for himself. And then now with with you guys and and being able to take that next step and also do what's best for yourself. So unfortunately, circumstances just didn't work out here with us at the game day. Um, But I do think it's important to note that like it wasn't an easy decision for, no, for any one of us. I mean, obviously I'm going to, there's not nothing I can do, but hopefully I could find a way to keep caps off going for people. But um, it wasn't an easy decision for either one of you guys. And even for Jack to, to step away from it and the community that we built for the last couple of years yeah. and, and just being able to see people and, and, and the biggest priority that we always wanted to like put an emphasis on was like, we were never experts in like talking about the game, unless you're Felipe, but like experts in being <laughs> fans, most importantly. And I think what we learned from this whole process is that while we are fans, you know, I would say second at this point, we are a community first. Yeah. And that was by far the hardest thing to walk away from. Yeah. With Caps Off is the community. And yeah, I mean, it's just the whole, it's sad, man. I'm sorry that it had to come to a close this quickly. I know we were just kind of building something great. Um, That's not to say that you're going to see the end of us. Like we're all going to be making our waves through the sports media world, wherever that may be. Um, And we'll come together and collaborate on lots of content, you know, over the next, however long, uh, next few years, whatever. Um, But yeah, man, right now that this is unfortunately what has to happen for us. We're going to go to the Super Bowl. We're going to get a fucking, we're going to have a banging week. Last hoorah. We're going to, yeah. It's We're going to talk to ride. a million. One last cap. One last cap, baby, in the Super Bowl at in Vegas. Uh, we're going to, you know, gamble away all of our money before our next moves. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely not, you know, safe. You got to be safe. You got to be smart <laughs> with your money. Make some good decisions. But Vegas is going to be fun, so make sure to tune in because, you know, obviously, probably your last episodes. And, uh, yeah. For now. Us. Have For fun. now. Who knows? Maybe things will change. Maybe things will change down the line. Uh, um, yeah. But I do think it's important while we while we have this opportunity to like make sure you follow Felipe's personal stuff, follow Matan's personal yeah. stuff, follow my personal stuff because that way, even if Caps Off does end, you'll find a way for us to, or you'll see us find a way to to come together again. I want to put you guys on the spot though while we do have this opportunity of like favorite moment of the last two years being a part of Caps Off, and that includes obviously with Jack. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I mean, like, let's get reminiscent for a second. I mean, we had a lot of highlights, man. Like, the Super Bowl last year was unreal. Like, that was that mine. Was That's of, mine. That so. was one of the best You got to pick a moment, though. You can't just no, say. I feel like a lot of them, though, are going to. Oh, uh, it's a broad moment. Like, uh, I don't want you to just say Super Bowl last year. A specific moment for like, me was when Trey Wingo came on at the Super Bowl. Yeah. That was dope. Because it's was like awesome. we grew up watching Trey. If you watched, like, SportsCenter and watched yep. ESPN growing up, which I feel like everyone did. You still do, Adam. So shout out to you for being one of the few. Yeah. But um, shout out Mike Greenberg. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think that was the, the biggest one for me. It was kind of like a we made it moment. Yeah. Yeah, that was really fucking sick. I also think, I mean, just having the experiences of going to the the places we've gone. We went to the Super Bowl. We went to the draft. Yeah. Um, being recognized at the draft, I remember it wasn't even you and me, but. Felipe, Felipe and, and or and Felipe Jack. and Jack got recognized yeah. at the at the draft. Well, because we just look like generic white just people. Just a mo- <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was just just a moment of like, holy shit, we made it. Just like you said, that's cool. Yeah, for um, sure. That was pretty. Those sweet. moments were dope. People wanted to take pictures, and then also like people DMing me, like random yeah. people who I've never heard of, like hitting me up, me like, yo, I love your show, and like, I get tweeted at all the time. I was yeah. tweeted at like. Who do I start in fantasy this week? I'm like, bro, yeah. I don't even know fantasy. Like, I'm not the fantasy guy, but I still get tweeted at just because I'm here. Uh, so I don't know if I can pinpoint a specific moment. I mean, like, Jack doing the show shirtless was fucking hilarious. <laughs> getting, so the getting, getting the tattoo. A tattoo yeah. yeah. That was great. Like, we've had a, a ton of hilarious interactions. There's just too many. I, can, I can't I can think of so many more, honestly. 
Yeah, well, you know me. I get very sentimental. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite, Adam? Yeah. Yeah. Before, you, before you give us a whole, like, I love you guys. And what's I would say favorite that moment? you guys hit on, like, the high-level stuff, but I think one of the most, like, underrated parts as we sit here for our last episode on this set is the, the f entire last two years, like, from every building block, we would build this community up. And we started, most people didn't know us, but we started on a Discord, and we would get, like, 30 people in the Discord. And we were ecstatic to have those 30 yeah. people. We didn't yeah. do anything for a couple of days at work besides talk fuck. to those people on Discord. And that Discord community obviously grew, but so too just did the entire Caps All community to a point where we had over 200,000 followers. And, and we started that from zero. And so I think it's like this weird moment right now where there's this like grateful liberating feeling of like look what we built mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. that goes for us with jack and also the community and so that moment to sit here and feel proud is is something that i i, look, I g i'm able to look back on both now and like in the future and be very fortunate for i got other moments oh god go ahead super wow uh yeah the super bowl Has no. wow uh no uh two a couple of really cool moments that involves our live streams. Oh, there was that, was that cool. one game where we hit 70, like 70,000 viewers 70, or something viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like 300,000 likes or some yeah. shit. That was just like an electric episode. We were watching whatever game it was. It was like Bill's Cowboys or something. I, I don't remember. I think it was Cowboys Eagles, right? Might have been Cowboys Eagles. Yeah. 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 We just like, we went nuts. And then there was another episode when we had BDGE here. Oh, and we that was were fun. Watching along fun. with BDGE. That was, fun. That was a that ton was of what, fun. Ravens Bengals. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, Taking down Dove Climbing. Dove Climbing, pretty man. Pretty fucking sick. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was funny pretty, as fuck. I had sick. so many people hit me from that. We one. went super viral from that. Super, that was super, wild. We went super, super wild. wild. On that. We went super wild on that, no doubt. <laughs> a lot of good know, moments, man. man. A lot of. A lot and then of we had insane moments. guests. We had Emmanuel Acho. We had fucking yeah, Brian Ach Burns. Acho Osa was sick. came on a Dude, bunch. Dude, Acho was a big one. Acho was a big I one. Oh, you Acho know what the highlight of my of the whole podcast was of this what? whole shit, bro? Over the past year and a half, whatever it's been, two years. was like getting so close to getting Antonio Brown on. That oh. was so funny to me. Oh, yes. That was so funny. To me, I don't bro. think the listeners ever knew that story, bro. I was like, I was DMing AB back and forth. He's like, "Yo, you got budget?" I'm like, "We got we some cash. Close. What's good?" He's like. Text my guy CC. <laughs> so so I'm, like, I'm texting CC. CC's like it's sixty thousand bucks, bro. And then I'm texting AB. He's like, dude, it's like five k. And I'm like, yo, your guy is finessing you, bro. He said sixty k over iMessage. I don't know what to say. But yo, that that, that whole funny. shit. Getting like close. we were actually so close. We were to really Antonio close Brown to on, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was hilarious. We actually even almost had him in person, and then it was like, all right, it's a remote. And, you know, it's probably better that we didn't get him on base. I would like, say we were like 90% had him remote. Like, we had a we time. We were so close. We had him scheduled for, yeah. for a slot. You know we the, had, like, predictions meter where it's like one team's about yeah, to win? Yeah, and yeah, yeah we were at 90. Off. It was we up high. There, and then boom. Fucking dipped. Yeah, dipped, exactly. bro. Like a fucking but, Lions collapse against the, the Niners. Exactly. Like, that type of shit. But, yeah, that's all to say that. I also think it's important to say that, like, this is a collaborative decision amongst all of us. Like, we, yeah. this isn't anyone, there's no beef, there's no anything, it's just more so. Like, what heavy is heavy beef, bro. This is like. What's uh, uh, super wow. This is, <laughs> this is so funny. Super, super wow. We support each other. And the most important thing is that we're, we're best friends first, so. We're, we're all sad and happy at the same time. I love bro, you guys. It's like the Jonas Brothers breaking up. It is. And then they, they came back together for one last tour. So Bingo. And, uh, Please stay tuned. Yo, that? or it's like the Wizards of Waverly Place. They're going to run it back. Oh. Yeah, Pete? They're like going to run it back. They're going to run the it back. Game yeah. day show. So we love everyone. I love you guys. It's so been a fun ride. So what's everyone's personals then to make sure that everybody does follow in case that does happen? I'll go first. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> Felipe Fantas. You know how to spell the. Everybody's yeah, the is like da, one da, of the da, core da. core words in the English dictionary. It's actually. like the uh, so Megan the Stallion, but Megan the Stallion. But you flip it the Megan Felipe Stallion Fantas. Yes, of course. <laughs> the Felipe Fantas. Shout out Texas though. I got a few. No cap. Yeah, mine. I got a few. Is like TGD tabs, a tabs with four s's on Instagram <laughs> and TGD tab or tabs on on twitter just follow me on instagram and twitter or anywhere i don't know you can find us yep. i promise you uh mine is uh, at matan man that's m-a-t-a-n -A -A yeah you have a weird name. i have a weird name you don't know a lot of people are like i don't think it's weird it's t-o-n a lot of people wow. come, a lot of people spell my name matan like m-u-t-o-n yeah, yeah, yeah. m-a-t-a-n-m-a-n-n i only have four letters in my whole name so follow me at Matan Man or on Twitter. I think it's at Man underscore Matan for yeah, some it is reason. That. It is that. Yeah. 
So. So shout out to you, bro, because you're really that dude. Uh, yeah, I am. You're that man, dude. It's I am. I'm that man. Dude. All right, we have games, bro. Why does man about have two, two ends, though? Why can't it be just one end? Um, Without you, ever thought about that? No. Yeah, we should change man. that. Man. We should change, like, not your name last name. Matan, we should change the Matan common spelling. Man. Yeah. Matan we should change the common spelling of man to have two ends. That's a good point. We've come right, a long we games, though. Adam. way. Adam, kindly. From Shut where we up. begin. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you Oh, God, I'll start crying again. All right. We do have games. We have games. Let's fucking, let's do this episode right now, all right? <laughs> Adam's actually going to cry. Splash. Let's do this episode right now, okay? Let's go. Let's go out with a fucking bang. Turn we got up. a bunch of games today. Uh, I have two games. A uh, little guessing a top ten list. You know, dude, the classic. Yeah, let's guess, bro. You How got a you? game? Yeah, I got one. What kind of game? Give us a little uh, overview. I just have uh, yeah, two player stats. Yeah. And I want comparison. you guys to guess who they could be. Mm. A wanna, blind taste test. Yeah, blind, blind taste test. And then we're just going to make some comparisons and maybe discuss that comparison a bit. I like it. I got, a, I got some fun ones. Um, there was a list that dropped. Um, there was a, a poll, a, a little poll that came out with Zillow. And it was the most desirable neighbors in America. Oh, like famous people? And it was um, football players, broadcasters, and halftime performers. Ooh. So we'll do... Football players, and we can do the other ones, but most desirable neighbors. And then the other one was, um, I want us to rank the top 10 most, or the top 10 weirdest icons going in another jersey type of move. Because Lewis Hamilton, I don't know if anyone's an F1 yeah, he guy. He's Lamborghini. Uh-huh. For, he, he just went from... Uh, from Ferrari? Mercedes to Ferrari, and oh. that's like literally it's a huge frowned upon. Is it's, that a huge deal? It's it's he's been he's been the goat in it's like a, yeah, at Mercedes, and like then Kobe he goes going to, to his the rival. Celtics. Mm. Yes, yes, that'd it'd be, be like Cody, that'd be Kobe going to the Celtics. Yeah, it's just weird, and that's how like or Ferrari dirt and Mercedes going anywhere. Uh, or so, yeah, it's weird. So, that is weird. All right, who wants to start? I can start. You want to start? Super Wow. I could start. Yeah, super you got wild, football bro. games. Yeah, I got I'm two football super games. Wild. I like super Dude, wild. You're, also, you're, make sure because of because of this announcement when we made and everything like that. Make sure you go follow super wild. Yeah, facts. no, 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 don't. because he has to do it with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we get super wild on the pod, we won't end the pod. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. How's that? Um, all right, I got two football games for you. All right, let's do go. you want the this year one first this or the all time? Yeah, this year, this, this year, year, this year, this year. All right, I'll go this year and then I got an all time. Best or last. All right. Can you name the no. 10 players with the most rushing plus receiving yards from this season? Oh, yeah, you didn't do the game I, I wanted you to do? No, I didn't I like can. the game. That was so fun. Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey's number one. Yeah. yeah. By the way, in 2023, he had 2,023 yards. Wow. Total? All right. mm. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill's number three. Mm. Damn. 18-14. 1,814 yards. Go for your boy. CD Lamb. CD Lamb number two. two. Yeah, because they're eighteen sixty two. Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams number fifteen. Ooh, oh outside my the top God, ten, dude. What Whoa. are you doing? Oh, he missed so much time. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Those top three are are the layups. Everything else, I would say, is a little bit shocking. Rushing plus receiving. Jameer Gibbs. Interesting. Uh, not there. Uh, Amon Ra. Amon Ra seven. Mm. Fifteen thirty nine. Mm. Number seven. Mm. That's pretty solid, I would mm. say. No cap. On no God. cap on God. Mm -hmm. Super wow. Super wow. <laughs> uh, there, there, there are some real. There, there are definitely some shockers. Not like they're all really good players, but they're like you would not have expected them to be in the top ten. You see, I got to make my way around the league. Making your way around the, the league. downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Super wild. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that super wild shit is fire, bro. You're gonna, you're, you're I actually can't time, even bro. lie, dude. Uh, um, Brees Hall. Brees Hall, number four. Ooh. That's a fucking pull. That's a fucking pull. He's at 1,000. Why you be pulling your finger out I, like that I, sometimes? 1,584. 1,584 yards. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay. Our Lord and Savior, Puka Nakua. Puka Nakua, number five. Woo! There you Wait, go. five? I thought uh, you just said Brees Hall's five. No, he said Hall's four. Actually, hold on. I might have. Oh, here I have Puka four. at number five, but I think I have a typo here. I, <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Puka's five. Super wild. Okay, so Hall, Brees Hall's four. Brees Hall's four. Yeah. Puka's five with 1575. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. There you go, man. No cap. Mm -hmm. um, 
<laughs> we just went, mm hmm. At the ex- like, very. <laughs> we can't sick. stop the pod, bro. I'm yeah. going to go. Um, can't stop a fire. Mm. Mm. Give it to me. I'm mm. going to go Jamar Chase. Ooh, Ooh no. no. Um, he missed a lot of time. He missed a lot of time. Not on the list. Not, on the list. Not even in the top 15. Not even in the top 15. Super wow. wow. <laughs> I saw that coming. Go ahead. You got one. You got it. Uh, Raheem the Dream Mostert. Raheem, not there. Ooh. Touchdown machine, not a yards guy. Yeah, yeah. but he had How many touchdowns did he finish with? 18? No, 23. 20. Yeah. That's 20. crazy. Yeah. Well, because he had it. That was a record. Plus, 26, but I know 28? Some... LT? Yeah. One of those. 28 those rushing, those. 32. Yeah. 28 rushing. I think he had 30 rece- like thirty total that year. Um, mm, super wow. See, the hard thing is making it around the whole league. You're like, what fucking teams out there, bro? Think fantasy. Rashad like, White. Rashad White. There you go. Bang. Pull, bro. 1539, number eight. He was number eight. Um, Rashad White. AJ Brown. AJ Brown's number 11. Ooh, just outside. You just missed, dude. You just missed. Bless you, Coda. Number 11. Yeah. Uh, DJ Moore. Ooh. No, he's number 13. Ugh. I like Rushing it, Rushing plus receiving. He's in, he's in the top 10 receiving. Rushing plus receiving. Rushing plus receiving. Yep. Rushing. Rushing plus receiving. Okay. Rushing plus receiving. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, fuck. You need three more. Three more? You're looking at six, nine, and ten. Think fantasy football. I really do Can think that'll help you. we just throw our names, though? James Cook. James Cook. Damn. Bang. <laughs> number six. James that Cook. Was solid, bro. 1567. Ooh. All right, you need 9 and 10. Ooh, kill him. There's maybe you the probably the way you should have You need 9 and 10. They're both all purpose yards. They're Kenneth both Walker. running backs. No. No, not Kenneth Walker. You should have framed it as all purpose, but it's okay. Well, all purpose doesn't that in- account for all return, purpose. Return, return, oh, return, return, I, return, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose I may haps. I may uh, haps. You need 9 and 10. They're both running backs. Devon Achan. Nope. Mm, Tony this, Pollard. No. Nope. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Just rip it. Just rip it. Brian Robinson. Whoa. Not Brian. Antonio Gibson. Oh. Bijana Robinson. Bijan Robinson, number 10. 1463. So you need, need number nine. More? You need number nine. So who is slightly better Travis than Travis Kelsey. Not Travis Kelsey. Interesting. Pull. Yeah, he sucked, actually. He was like, he didn't back. even get a 1,000. It's a running I told you it's a running You back. did tell me that, but I, I thought Travis played running back last sometimes, game. Sometimes. Ow. Isaiah Pacheco. I no. I was going to say Pacheco. That was a good one. That was a good one. That nope. was a good one. Dude, thanks. Good one. Dude, appreciate that. Not Travis time. Etienne. Travis Etienne. Etienne. That's a bang. Bongo. That's a dub. Number nine, Travis Etienne. So, top 10 players with the most rushing and receiving yards. Christian McCaffrey, CeeDee Lamb, Tyree Kill. Brees Hall, Puka Nakua, mm. James Cook, mm. Amon Ross St. Brown, Rachad White, Travis Etienne, and Bijan. I don't think it was that obscure. Yeah, Outside I of um, James Cook. Uh, James Cook. Brees Hall, I was, had a good year. I was shocked by. I was shocked by Brees high, Hall. maybe. He had a good, no, he James had Cook, a really I was shocked by. James Cook's the biggest. James Rashad Cook White, Rashad too. White. Rashad White. Yeah, they're just utility guys. Like He does it all. What are your thoughts on Rashad White? I, you, I know you love him. I Honestly, I don't think I, don't think I watched like two plays from Rashad White this year. I don't know if I watched one down a bucket here. Okay, Super but how many plays did you watch on Rachad White? Rashad White? Rachad. No, Rachad. Who's Rachad? <laughs> That's him. That's him. Okay. okay. You're good. You're funny. I wanted Adam. him to look up. Uh, this is why we're running the pod because of Adam's heinous. Jokes. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> trying trying to, I, was, I just wanted him to say Rachad White. Rachad. Um, I wanted him to look up the best all around wide receivers from this year and take into account receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns. Okay. But, but he then said, how do you do stupid. that? What do you mean? You just add them all together and make a top 10. Oh, you rank them. It's not yeah, objective. It's objective, it's subjective. No, it's objective. Based it's on literally just who has the most combined. Oh, the most combined. Yes, receiving touchdowns. Yeah, but that's re- stupid, though. Yeah, because, like, I agree. because touchdowns is equivalent to, like, 12 touchdowns, which is a really good year, is equivalent to 12 yards, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's my point. You're going to have the same. Yeah, I can get that. What's like CB Falco did that what shit, about bro? Receptions? <laughs> but receptions. But receptions. All yeah, right. yeah, I, I agree. It, I didn't do even it. Even receptions, ninety receptions, amazing year. It's only ninety. You want yards. me to just rip my other game yes. right now while we're here? All right, this one's an all-timer. Shut this up. Is an all-time I don't game. Know. Super wow. Can you name the ten <laughs> players? Yeah, right here. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you name the ten players? Nope. With the most playoff passing yards in a single postseason. Oh, I like this a lot. So it's. it's who basically has, has had the best playoff run? One single playoff, playoff run. run. I love the that. Most shit. passing yards by a quarterback. Yo, turn the fuck up. Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco? Yeah. Number four. Yeah. 
Well um, done. I had to go with my guy. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Extra point if you can guess the year. If you can tell me the year they did it. 20... 2012. Bingo. Oh, just kidding. Don't sleep on me. Bingo. I'm not. Bingo. That Bingo. was quick. I'm not. That was bang, quick. Bang, bang. Joe Flacco is number four. He had uh, 1,100 yards. 1,100 yards. Because it could have been Joe Flacco 2023, I guess. No. Nah, but he, it didn't make the playoffs. No, but he didn't, he, didn't oh, he didn't play. One year. He played one game. I mean, one no, game. I know. I'm just one saying, year. like, I had to specify yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If I just said I want, Flacco. All right, all right. Patricia Mahomes. Has to be. But you have to say the year. What is that the game? No, the game was just guessing. Well, you got to get it. I'll tell you if you're right. Yes or no. Pat Mahomes. Not on the list. Not, not that I'm not on the list that I saw. That's crazy. No, I'll that's tell not, you right now. No, I trust you. No, don't, don't worry. No fact check. I can try. trust you. All right. Keep ripping. Keep the ripping. list that I am yeah, seeing sure, is off. updated till 2022. Like there's 2022. I'm just saying like all hey. there are players. It's all not right, there. Fuck this was from hey. uh, what's it called? It's just stat pro football not, reference. Pro yeah, football pro reference. Football. Eli Manning 2011. <gasps> Eli Manning 2011 is number one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot. You're hot. Dude. Yo. Give me love. I want to fuck you. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Like, that's wild. He's the goat. I've been saying. Hey, Come on. I'm the goat. And then he's the second goat. He's the yeah. baby goat. He's the super he's wild the goat. He's the super wild goat. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Tom Brady. In. Why do I feel like that Bucks run? He went crazy. I feel like he did, too. What was that? 2021. 2020. 2020. That was 2020, 2020, 2021. Is Brady on there? Tom Brady is on there. Okay. But I need you to give me the year you're guessing. I'm going to go. he's on there more than once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want that Bucks year. And I don't, was it, it was 2020, 2021, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was tw Tom Brady, 2020. Okay. By the way, Patrick Holmes is 11th. Okay. Damn. But he ain't he had enough. one season where he had, go yet. he had 1,057 yards. Not Tom to Brady in 2020 at number 10, the 10th best, you know, Postseason run mm -hmm. was 1,061 yards. Yeah. That was 10? Nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with... So, do we have... Like, do I have Apologies. to say Tom Brady again with the year? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it to you if you get the year. <laughs> Come on, Lipe. Be hot. Be I'm, sexy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be hot and sexy. We'll take the time. big ones off the board. I, relax. I'm just trying to think of the exact year. No, of course. I can't do years, bro. I don't even remember what last year was. Okay. Right. Um, Took me a second. Kurt Warner, 2008. <gasps> Bingo. Number three. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> I didn't even know we are playing this game, bro. <laughs> God <laughs> damn, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Give him the smooches. He deserves. He really deserves <laughs> That's that. That's crazy. That yo. was a fucking pull, dog. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh Yo, my God! This yeah. is a great last episode. We're all fine. You like today. this game? You yeah, like I just this one? Support. You want to watch him? You want to just sit back it. and watch? <laughs> oh! You got another guess though? The, nope, my pants. Dude, are I guess wet. three in the top five. That's crazy. Oh, go ahead. God, Lee. Golly, jeez. Tua, twenty twenty three. Fuck me. Go ahead. Okay. Tua, Warner, two thousand eight. How the fuck did That's, you? Pull well, that? that was their, that was Holy that was the run with the Cardinals. But God, Lee. That um, was, that was impressive. Didn't Manning throw like fifty five touchdowns Manning, with the Broncos? Two, there was, two Manning. there was three Mannings actually. Arch. Didn't Peyton Manning <laughs> throw for like fifty plus touchdowns in 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 Denver? Didn't he have go crazy yeah. that year? Okay, he did go crazy. That, that, that Peyton Manning with the Broncos. That was two thousand and. Peyton Manning's not on the list, so you're fucked. That's crazy. You know hey. why? You know why? You got to think about teams that played all four games. They had a bye week that year. They had the first. See, oh. Peyton Manning got, in 2013. Bro, you're, not, you're not playing the advanced game, bro. Peyton Manning in 2013 yep. in Denver threw for 910 Was it 2013? Yards. Yeah. Okay, I said 2014. I was close. God damn it. I, fuck, have, fuck, I, have, fuck. The, I have the top 25 in front of me, but I'm, I'm looking at the, we're looking for top 10. Bro, having a great year that year it might hurt that, that yeah. case, you yeah. know? Okay. All right. Okay. 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 I'll okay. tell you another thing is there's more than one quarterback that has that is in the top ten twice or more than once. Aaron Rodgers, 2011. Aaron Rodgers, not 2011. Oh, but I was about to very at least play tonsil hockey with you. <laughs> uh, is it 2000? I'm trying to 2010. 2010. So yeah. it's a 2011 Super Bowl. Sure. 2010. Sure. Year. It was in there Dallas that year. There you go. He threw for. <laughs> they beat the Steelers Dude. in the Super Bowl. Texas. History, Texas, bro. Texas, he threw Texas. for 1,094 yards. Yeah. Wait, what place is he in that? He is number eight. He's number, number eight. eight. Got you, got you. Okay, Drew Brees. Oh, that's a good one. Was that 06 or 07? That was oh, 09. wait. No, but no. 09. That was 2000. That was after in Miami, the Super Bowl? That was 09. No, no, because Miami was Bears. It was in Miami the bro, second that was time. 2009, around. bro. Was it 2009? Okay. 
But they were a first seed that year. Let me remind you, they were 13 and 3 that year. Mm-hmm. They had a first seed. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, the first I'm, I'm seed to beat them that year, Dallas right Cowboys. With Drew Fucking not bro. Drew Brees, not in the top ten. It's the Sorry one seeds. It's, it's the, the one, one seeds. Well, yeah, you can't. Yep. Fuck. Okay. How about this? How about them, dude? I will. I will literally spit in your fucking 2007 mouth. Two thousand and seven, Eli Manning. Not there. Ah, Lucky not, not there. Not I don't. Let me see if he's in the top twenty-five here. No, I don't uh, think. Yeah, it was okay. a good guess, but yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not there. It, he just did it in two of that. He had good playoff runs, bro. He like did, that's bro. the one he thing I'll amazing. give Eli and Giants fans. He was amazing in the playoffs when he made it. <laughs> he was like Flacco. He was like Joe. Yeah. Okay. Why do I feel like there's a recent one on here? This sh- there probably is. Probably is. Oh God. <laughs> there's just like a part of me that's like wants to say Joe Burrow, 2021. Bingo! Yeah! <laughs> fucking go! Bang! Number seven. Nice. I didn't think you were going to guess Joe Burrow because you always talk about how he has bad players. No, but no, because He's I can think of who was not a one yeah. seed and then who got who to made the, the Super Bowl. Bingo. That's, what That's you, exactly what you want. That's been my logic. Yep. Joe Burrow, great fucking guess, Adam. Thank you, well thank done. You, Good thank shit. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Felipe, you're up, my friend. Appreciate it, man. Yep. Um, for sure, for sure. Don't shoot the sheriff. <laughs> Uh, mm. all right, mm. all right. Ben Roethlisberger, twenty ten. Eh. Fuck, not there. Big Ben's got to be on it though. Are we guessing the years now though? Like uh, he's not in the top twenty five. I don't what? see it. No. That's crazy. What? Okay, okay. Hear me out. Twenty twenty three to a Dunga by Law. <laughs> God, no. I wish my quarterback. Okay, I already told you Tom Brady's on the list more than once, so you should. No, but that was a, that was a tr- that was a st- I was not a real guess. Uh, Brady. Oh, oh. The, when when he uh, when he lost in the Super Bowl and they were undefeated. But were they the one nah, seed? They were the one. They were seed. the one seed, bro. They went. They were undefeated. Yeah. Fuck. 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 Oh, I know. I know the Brady. Yeah. I know you do. So go. Go. <sighs> the thing is, 2010 from 2010 to 2020 is all one year to me. Yeah. Everything yeah, blends they, together. They were in there a lot. You already got it his 2020 year with the Bucks. That was yeah, at yeah, number yeah. 10. Okay, the air just shut off. Yeah. They didn't hear. Huh? The air just shut off in here? That's not good. Oh, fuck. Go. Um, um, Tom Brady, 20. Don't do it. 17. I, bingo. What in the? F- <laughs> 2017 at number six, he had 1,132 yards. Yeah. MVP Brady. Yes, MVP sir. year. Yes, sir. Could have been Carson Wentz, but he got hurt. MVP got the MVP that year. AB, also low-key sleeper for MVP that year. Mm. Um, there is another quarterback that you already got that is also on this list yeah, it's, more than it's, once. It's Aaron Rodgers. There's it's also MVP. another time Tom Brady is on this list. Ooh, three, the top ten. three Brady. And then you have one right. other quarterback you haven't guessed yet. I'm just trying to think now what year was Aaron Rodgers not the one seed. By the was way, we're looking MVP for number year? two, number five, and number nine. Was the year, second think. MVP year. I mean, you still need the MVP second year. best. Second MVP year, because they were the they went thirteen and three that year. His second. Or no, they went thirteen and four. He's got four MVPs, bro. I'm okay, then what was his I'm thinking of the third and fourth. The third and fourth. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well he was the one seed yeah, I know for the, the most recent one. Both, I think. They were thirteen were they? and three for both years. But he did ball out. He's thirteen and three, thirteen and four. When did they put fucking seventeen games in there, bro? I had no memory. After that, I think. No, 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 no. Because second MVP, that was two years ago. You're right. They were 13. They were like 13 and Who? 4, 12, something about? like that. Aaron Rodgers. You're right. I you're think right. they won like 13 you're right. games. You're right. You're right. Okay. Here we go. It's Brady. I mean, excuse me. It's Aaron Rodgers. And <laughs> what? Oh. He's not the second guy on it. He was on the list at once, but he was not on it twice. That's crazy. I nailed it, though. I always knew he sucked. I mean, you know? <laughs> I, was, I, I was, got you. You see that Jets article that came out? The athletic just yeah. ripping ripping into the organization. Yeah, I did rip it, really rip it and rip uh, it. Actually, I'm not sure about this. You been, but I'm not sure about anything. So just grip and rip, <sighs> grip and rip, grip Fucking and rip. Shit. Um. Ooh, come on. Look at that. Peyton Manning, work. 2006. No, Peyton Manning's not on the top ten at all. Mm. I'll give you a hint. The, there's two quarterbacks. Like there's two quarterbacks that have an extra one. One of them is Tom Brady. One of them is someone else. You still haven't guessed the second at best all. performance at all. Got you. And it is more recent. You want to know my favorite part about this game we're playing right now is the amount of comments that's going to be like, how do you have a football podcast and not be yeah, historians obviously. of the game? Yeah, but if they're following us at this point, they know we're not historians. This is a, yeah, this is a recent, com- most of the comments are people that don't follow us. This right. is a recent 
quarterback is a recent one. Okay, that's good to know. He's number two. Wow. Oh, number two. A recent playoff run that is number two. But okay. All right. 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 Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, you're up. Shot clock. Oh, you're up. Uh, you're up. Bro, I don't fucking know. I'm struggling to think of. Use your logic, Felipe. Think about people who have made Super, Super Bowl Bowl's runs. not the as last. the one seed. That's Rock how. Party 2023. No. Oh, I literally would have. That'd be crazy. Shout out Anna Fry. That'd be wild. Uh, I, I, recent memory for me is tough. But I feel I'm like more of like a, why do I feel like there's a sneaky sneaky? Think one. about the Super Bowls in the last I don't remember five any of years. them. Oh Matthew Stafford. Bingo. Number two. Twenty twenty one? Yes, sir. Woo! There you go. Let's Eleven go. one thousand one hundred and eighty eight yards. Yeah, because that was All right. Cooper now Cooper. one of the others is Tom Brady. Yeah. I'm you want to guess the year? Yeah. Twenty fourteen. No. Nineteen sixty one. Bingo. <laughs> no. Uh twenty fifteen. 2016. 2016. 2016. 11, uh, 1,137 yards. So we need number two or we got You need them? number nine. Oh. Who and was number two? You already guessed this quarterback. Oh, 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 we already did. But there's... There's I, one that I we haven't, though. No, no, no. Uh, you already guessed this quarterback. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, and this is a second time this person is on the list. Why don't you do an Oz moment with him and try and get it? No, no, no. There's no, a quarterback no. that you already guessed that is on this did, list I twice. Guess. He, you probably guessed. That you guess guessed. Anyway. You guessed. It is on this list twice, and you need to guess what the second time is that he is on this list twice, and I want you to guess which quarterback that is. Ready, set, go. You know why he didn't get it? I he didn't snap it. twice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No, actually, I'm, bro, we already guessed. Who did we guess already? Let's think about it. I was going to say Russell Wilson, but I guess we didn't, we didn't guess Russ, so no. no. You guessed a deep cut guy that you nailed before. Oh, wait. Why do I feel like it's like a Kurt Warner? Kurt Warner. Great show on turf. Kurt Warner, 2001. Not 2001. 2000, 2000. No. Two. 2002. No. 1999. 1999. Yes. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's what it is. He threw for 1,063 like... yards. Oh, that was number nine. Yeah. All right. So that full list of the top 10 for the best playoff performance, basically, by uh, like crazy, in the playoffs. Bro. Bro, Eli Manning, fun. number one. Matt Stafford, number two. Kurt, Kurt Warner, number three. Joe Flacco, number four. Tom Brady, five and six. Seven, Joe Burrow. Eight, Aaron Rodgers. Nine, Kurt Warner. And ten, Tom Brady again. Just outside of the top ten is Patrick Mahomes and Peyton Manning. And Matt Ryan. So they stay. Really? That was insane. Well, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan would have been that a Falcons run. Mm. Those are my games, boys. Happy playoffs. Happy Super Bowl. That's all I got for you. Happy see you never because the podcast is ending. Do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, you want to go? Don't say that. Bro, that was a fun I'm time. Shout out to you, bro. You're welcome, bro. Felipe, what are the games welcome. you have? Uh, I have one just... Blind QB comparison. Oh, blind. What now, I'm going to make it easy for y'all because there's only three stats. But then well, I went to, we can have a discussion based off of it. Afterwards. A discussion. I like it. Okay. So, okay. So I what's like the game? Talking. So, it's, there's, we got two quarterbacks. All right. Let, let me see how to frame this because, like, I, I, I didn't think too much about this one. Yeah, no, that's okay. I was like, oh, I saw this picture. I liked it. I liked it. Maybe you guys saw it as well. Actually, you might have seen it because you're a big fan of the outlet that potentially put this out. Mm. I know but, exactly which outlet it is, but okay, keep going. You know what? I think uh, I think yeah. I know what it is. All right. But I don't so, know the graphic. Wait, I got two quarterbacks, okay? The first, QB1. He's got, and this is your stats from one particular season. So, okay. the quarterback blind taste test. Yeah, quarterback blind taste test. Uh, and these two quarterbacks, I'm going to be reading the stats from one whole season. Okay. okay. okay? Same season? Uh, or just different? Both different. Yeah. of well, their second years as quarterbacks. Okay, okay. Okay? Okay. Does that make it better for you? Yes. Uh-huh. All right. I got, I got one. In their of second year as quarterback. Not that that adds too much, but. So okay. I feel like I got one quarterback. Already. All right. Me too. Don't say it. Let him do it. Completion percentage. QB1. All right. Completion percentage 70, 70.4. Nice. Ooh. Well, You're that's close. also like the average. Touchdown to INT 34 to 14. Okay. And passing yards per game 288. Okay. 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 Nice. Now, QB2. 69 again. 69.4. Woo! Nice. Yep. Good position. Uh, passing touchdowns to INT, 31 to 11. So three less touchdowns, three less INTs. Okay. Also, didn't hear a single word you just said. Need you to say that again. 31 to 11 touchdowns. 31 to 11 Copy. touchdown to INT. Copy. On 69% com- completion percentage. Nice. Correct. So, so far we have 70 Very similar. to 69, 34 to, f- 34 to 14, yeah, two, yeah. 31 to 11. 
And then the last one is pass yards per game, 267. How many? Compared so to QB1s, 288. 288. Okay, so who would we rather have without who saying would, who they are? Yeah. I would rather, rather have the QB one. Yeah, QB one. I don't care about the ints as much. Three extra ints, but three extra touchdowns three extra on a better touchdowns. completion percentage and better yards per Matthew game. Matthew Stafford led the led the NFL in. So INTs yeah, I'd rather have I'd rather have Brock Purdy. Yeah, one of them's Brock Purdy for sure. One is Brock Purdy. The Am I right one? that it's QB one is Brock Purdy? QB or? no QB two is Brock Purdy. Ooh. QB two. Why is Brock do Purdy. I feel like number one is? Now let me read. I, I collected this on the side, by the way. Okay, I just got thought it was interesting. Okay, so it's the gonna, second quarterback, both runner. of these second-year quarterbacks had good playoff runs. Hmm. Now, one of them had a ninety-three point three passer rating in the playoffs. Okay. QB, sorry, QB one at ninety-three point three. QB two ninety-eight point seven five. So oh, I'm so just gonna Brock, talk yeah. talk through my logic here. This is a is this a current. NFL quarterback. They're both current. They're both in the league now. Okay, yeah. so I'll tell you where my head is going. Where's your head gone? Aaron Rodgers. Because there's only one reason that people would want to compare Brock Purdy to discredit, because a lot of people are trying to discredit him right now for the run he's done. But I feel like it would have to be compared to a great, another great quarterback I'm to a- show that like, hey, hey, look what this guy did in his second year. So my, I don't, I literally have no idea who it is, but Aaron Rodgers is where my head's at I'm right gonna, now. I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes, who in his second year made a Super Bowl or won the Super Bowl, right? Would have been a good take, though. So it's neither nah, one of them. It's neither one of those. I think both of those guys would potentially have better better stats. Yeah. Okay. 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 I mean, okay. Mahomes so, for sure. Mahomes. Well, let's have a discussion. Yeah. Let's have a discussion. No, no, no. no wait, let's keep thinking. Let's keep thinking. Want to guess? So you know, QB two is Brock Purdy, mm. but you got it. You didn't. You didn't know QB one. So yeah, it's not Mahomes, and it's not uh, Joe Burrow. Maybe yeah. could be Burrow. Back well, then, well, it is Joe Burrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah let's it go. Is Joe Burrow. So obviously, like very similar stats. Uh, Purdy's been better in the playoffs. Um, and these are stats from their second year. So in Burrow's second season, he obviously made the Super Bowl. Brock Purdy's second season, he's making like the this. Super Bowl. I like, wow. this. I like this. I like this. And, and so like- the regular season stats of that year that each of them. The same. Yeah, they're, they're you identical. know, identical. identical. And the similar. thing with, with Brock is that we say, like, he has a great team, but Burrow had a great team Boom. as well. I, I brought that up on Twitter, and I want to talk about it right yeah. now. Okay, so we can talk about it, and that's the point, so we can have this discussion, right? Mm, like discussions. And uh, the one thing that people say, like, oh, Burrow had to overcome a bad offensive line. Well, the Niners also don't have a great offensive line. They have a great offensive line men yes. and, yeah, and yeah. Trent Williams, and but scheme. outside of that, and a great scheme that that yeah. will mask the the bad... The, the deficiencies. It, deficiencies, there's the word. Ew. Just like the Dolphins do pretty a pretty good job of as well. <laughs> And um, and so yeah, so I think it's honestly a very close comparison, and the fact that we uh, so many people put Burrow in their top five after that Super Bowl year, mm-hmm. Purdy's doing the same exact thing, and people are discrediting, and people are never going to put him in the top five. Well, now, I'm not going to put him in the top five either. I'm not either, but I do yeah. think, and I think a big reason is something that like I think you and Jack always talked about is like where they were drafted. So that's like yeah. that's the first one. But in that 2021 year, Joe Burrow didn't have that great of a playoff run from like an individual standpoint. But what made Joe lethal that year was his ability to scramble outside the pocket and create when he needed to. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what Brock did last game. And yet I've seen yeah, so many people discredit what Brock did because so many people want to say it's the weapons, it's the people around yep. him. Like, oh, Brock you're an individual. Game, when you're an individual back, and you bro. run, like that's only on you. That's yep. making the good read, the right read, and taking off and running. Yep. And then you take it to the next level, which is Joe Burrow's supporting cast versus Brock's supporting cast. There's a really good fucking argument to make that that supporting cast from a skill position standpoint, it's like, it's not better, but it's it's damn fucking close. Because Jamar is the best out of Debo. I not use. close. And then CMC is obviously way better than Joe Mixon, mm. but Joe Mixon is also a dual threat guy and certainly capable. Where it falls off is tight end, yeah. but your wide receiver too, like T. Higgins is a guy that is very fucking capable. And if anything, their wide receiver three in Tyler Boyd for the Bengals is better than Jawan Jennings. Is better than Jawan Jennings. So it is a very comparable supporting cast. And I understand yeah. the offensive line, but it's an interesting point because so many people right out of the gate put Joe Burrow in that top five. And so many people I was listening to it. Because my favorite program, Get Up, obviously, with Mike Greenberg. So that's Shout where out. I saw this stat was Get okay. Up. Okay, so Bart Scott was on it this morning and mm. completely discrediting him. And I don't understand the, the I, I don't understand discrediting him. I love Bart because Scott. Because if any way. other fucking, you know, quarterback was doing this and they were drafted within the first round, yeah, it's people would be crediting Yeah, it's simply a draft stock thing. It's, it's sim- like he hasn't proven it long enough in the NFL to, for us to put him in the top five It's disrespectful. Situation. I think it's very disrespectful. And we keep disrespecting him with the whole, like, he's a product of the system argument of like his system is is allowing for him to thrive if you there's 
When if, he it was, does it, if he does it for 10 more years, then there's no argument. If it was He's that easy, if it was that easy, they would not have moved off of Trey Lance or Jimmy G. Yeah. Like, the, the, by the way, great, great argument level to fucking bring up Brock Purdy. I agree. Like, it's Trey not, Lance was a top five pick. Yeah. Wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, raw, very raw. But still, if it was that he's a top five pick. pick. Yes. Brock Purdy was Mr. Irrelevant. Nobody wanted him. Yeah. Literally, he was the last, the fucking bottom of the barrel scraping at the edges. Come if on. If it like, was that easy, they, yeah. they you lived. gotta be good to perform. You gotta be I, I do not understand the discourse around Brock it Purdy. is tough though, because I agree with you, and that's why I brought this up. But it's more so of like I don't want to put I'm not going to put Brock up there with Burrow, but I, what I'm, more what I'm saying is, like, if we gave Burrow that treatment, Brock should also get that treatment. I agree. Where I'm coming from is that both of them, neither of them should get that much credit, or as much credit as being in, after having Super Bowl run like this, neither of them just one run yeah. with a great team where, yeah. like, you you didn't, you're not the, like, you have a great supporting cast around you that helped get you there. As we know with Burrow, like, no... Um, no fourth quarter touchdowns with Brock Purdy. He has a really good team around him. He hasn't necessarily faced the toughest composition, competition in the playoffs. And so I think going into the next year, like Brock should definitely be in people's top tens, probably in the bottom half of yes, that top yes, ten. Yes, yes. But if we put Burrow there after mm-hmm. one year, then, then you, you got to put the same, Brock there. I think the same Burrow should have never been there. Probably should have been in the five to ten range. And Brock should probably be there next year I, as well. I totally but agree. it's just agree. a very good comparison. I totally agree. Yep. Totally yep. Agree. Good, nice. Good comp, Lipe. Thanks, man. Adam, give it to us. Yeah. Give it to where, us. Where do you want it? Uh, where it lies. I don't well, know. Y- okay. Give us whatever whatever game you want. Well, I was, gonna, I was really more referring to holes, but <sighs> oh, the holes. movie. Of course. Mm-hmm. Fucking weirdo. Okay. Um, like all right. Holes? So which game you want to start with? Whichever one you want. Let's start with uh, this game, which uh, I also nice. saw I on GetUp. Uh, it's the most desirable neighbors of 2024. So I want you to guess the most desirable football Player neighbors okay. in 2024. Who, who decided this? So this was the Zillow, Zillow, which like is the, we are the housing. Yeah, yeah. they conducted no a ads. poll gotcha. for people. I think it's actually between um, the ages of 2018 and 2022. I think there was specific the years of yes. So like years old. So like people within the demographic of like fans that would want to be. 2018 like to 20. Wait, is the list comprised of people within that range, <laughs> or is years it? Are you talking about? 18 to 22. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Is that what the list is? Compri- com- is the list is comprised of people within that age range? Got you. 18 or is to 22. It, we who? are the people living in that age right, range I, I, that I, would rank that that would want that. Yes. Uh, no. 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 The list is comp- is of the people within that age range would want that. Keep okay. that's keep filibustering so I could just double check it. Um, I'm gonna say Travis Kelsey's the number one guy. He's got to be. Yeah. I don't want to misquote who, how the people, but I don't think it matters. Uh, yes, Travis Kelsey was number one on this Most list. Most desirable football Most neighbor. Most desirable football yeah, neighbor. I would want to live next At 12% Travis. of the vote. Can, oh, go. are you only doing football, guys? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I have the next guess. I, is... I would guess... Um, I mean, he's retired. I would, There's I'll, 12 on this list, I would want to live next to ABC. What's going on over there? <laughs> you no. Know, inside of his head. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go with Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is fourth on this Woo! list at 6%. Yeah. I'm going to just rip Jason Kelsey as well. Not on this list. What? Jason Kelsey did not make this list. Eddie Bear boy. Yeah. There's some fun ones, and then there are Are there some... any retired players? Oh, George, no, no, no. This George is Kittle. active. George Kittle's not on this wow, list. Wow, that's surprising. Yeah, these are all active players. Okay, Patrick Mahomes. Number two, 11%. For sure, Max. So likable. I don't know who wants You also want to see what's going on with Jackson and shit. Like, what, what's no, he no, doing? What's he up to? He you see Mahomes, you see Mahomes poke his head on a McAfee yeah, yesterday? McAfee. Uh-uh. I'll be honest. I Travis just, Kelsey was on McAfee, and he was doing it out oh, of, like, really? the Chiefs facility, like, in an office there or something. And Mahomes walks in, and he just pokes his head, and he goes, hi, guys. Yeah. It was so cute. I'll be honest. I don't want to be a neighbor with Mahomes. I do not want to know what Brittany Mahomes is doing next to me. Like, yeah, but they're I just cool. Mahomes is the bro, fucking that's, man. That's bro. overrated. Like, he's, so, he's so chill. I just don't. Yeah, cool. All right, Kelsey, though. Next guess. You can see Tay-Tay. Uh, I think people would want to live next to, close to Joe Burrow. Yeah. Joe Burrow's not on this list. Let's go. Good. Because I wouldn't want to live next to him. I wouldn't ask White cracker. There's some fun. Whoa. Saltine cracker, I mean. Of course. Mm. Yeah, I like those. Um, who's likable Think current. and hot? Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey oh, is on this list. And you want to see what six. Olivia Coupo is yeah. up to? I'm, Christian that, McCaffrey is six on this list. He's four oh, percent of the vote. Think of girlfriends. I feel like girlfriends mm. is big. Olivia fun. Coupo walked in and out of that house. Yeah. And be like, hey, uh, how, how's it going? I'd be more on my front lawn for the first time ever, just watching it go through. You're kind of overthinking it a little bit. Uh, Braxton, there's Braxton's only one Braxton's other. Pro- not going to be on the list. No, there's, there's only no one. Other. He also like if you know Alex Rose TikTok, he's mainly Aaron Rodgers. Definitely not on this list, bro. Uh, 
Anybody oh, Rob, he'd be playing video Puka games. Puka Nakua. Not on this list. Damn but it. I would love to learn I, that story. I've definitely been on Puka TikTok recently and following his girlfriend. I and know. She's, she's, he's watching. Yeah, she's great looking. The LeBron but, highlights. But the li- LeBron highlights when they were going shopping. Hilarious. That's adorable. All right, come on. Get number three. Don't sleep on this likeable one. Likeable guys. A very, very likable guy. I can start. Justin Jefferson. Him. No, not on this list. Interesting. So what I will say is like. Odell Beckham Jr. OBJ. Actually. Yes. Let's go. Is yeah. he number three? Three. Seven, seven percent of the vote. He's, I'm trying to think of like hot and celebrities. Yes. You know, yeah. like an OBJ. All right, like, we're ripping. You got Lamar, got right? 20 million yeah, followers. Yeah. Right? Um, all right. Try and get number five. Another very likable guy. I, if I get, uh, there's too many hints that can mm-hmm. be Felipe given. Fontes. Don't Ooh. overthink it. Did I, I make the, the list? Hiccups. Josh yeah. Allen. Yes. Let's fucking go. Five. Josh I'm Allen. I'm sorry. We're just kind of ripping it. No, no, it's great. Josh, Josh Allen, 5% good. at number five. All Ooh. right. So you have right now the top six. With Jalen Hurts. Not on this list. Well, you don't want your motivational quotes in the morning? Nope. 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 All right, now this is where it gets fun. This is where it gets fun. I'll wake up and be like, yo, Jalen, what you got for me, bro? <laughs> Motivate is- me for my day. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Come on. Who do we? Who do people just like love spe- and more specifically Steven this Fajoko. year? No, that's just Oh, us. dude, that was a good one, who man. Who do people love this year? Not, this year? Not Dak Prescott. Not Dak Prescott. Dak that's Prescott's not on this list. There you go. Uh, Von Miller. Not on this list. Ezekiel Elliott. Nope. Who do people that's love this you, year? my friend, Texas. Brock Purdy? Brock Purdy is seven on this list. <laughs> that, don't make no, that don't make no at sense. At 3%. If Burrow's not on a list, how the fuck is Brock Purdy on this list? He's so bro. cute, bro. He looks like your friend next door. He, he looks well, like a teddy bear. No, I think sure. what you got to think about is the fact that most people could probably live next to him because he's not paying that much no, rent. Like, yeah, that's and so he's also like, he's a common quiet. folk. You, you know, know what I'm saying? He's a good neighbor. He's not making too much noise. He's, yeah, he's yeah, treating yeah. you well. You're going to look over. He's going to be mowing his lawn. You're going to be like, hey, Brock, how are you? No, I think he's going to come over with some like cookies. Like He feels like movie night. That type shit. And it's not too expensive to live next to him. Got to keep in mind, living to some of these other guys, it's going to be expensive. So Pete living Carroll. next to Brock is not that expensive. No, no coaches on there. <laughs> Pete Carroll would be sick to live next to, bro. Andy Reid. I would Come love on. that shit. Andy Reid would Get be number an six. awesome neighbor. Get number neighbor. six. There's one that you guys, you're gonna, you would want to live next to this guy. I promise you. I, I've, I've obviously. Yeah. Of course. Uh, Michael Parsons. No, Texas though. There's no cowboy on this list. No way. No cowboys on this list. That's unfortunate. Sorry. Uh, there's definitely no Eagles also. There are some Texas people though. CJ Stroud. Yes, on this list. <laughs> CJ Stroud, yeah, 2% cool. of the vote. He is cool. He is... Number what? Number 10? Nine. Number nine? There's 12 on this list. Deshaun Watson, because you could benefit from the massages. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, well, shit. there's other on here, but we're not going to count other. There were 6%, so it could be could, could be Deshaun. Deshaun. On the field, of course, though. Deshaun could be in the other for sure. Um, wow, you need four left, four left, four left. Oh, CJ it, was good. There's some interesting ones. Trevor Lawrence? Nope. Jared Goff. Jared Goff is on that list. He's 11. Because his girlfriend, for sure. That's yeah. his girlfriend. Yeah, she, I don't know. She's just, just not. Okay, Jared Goff has 2% of the vote. Now you need three more. Come on. That's crazy because Goff on. is boring as shit, bro. Come on. Kirk Cousins, yo. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> good Come neighbor, on. though. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. <laughs> uh, oh, Saquon Barkley. Nope. I, I feel like too. he'd be cool. Yeah. Okay, two quarterbacks and one wide receiver. Amon Ross St. Brown. No. Oh, Tyreek Hill. No. What? Well, He'd be dope. They'd be afraid that they'd they burn, burn down the house. The house yeah, yeah, right, yeah, Tua? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> nah, hell no. <laughs> I don't even want to be neighbors with Tua. Oh. Two quarterbacks. Come on now. Trevor Lawrence. Nope. You already said that. Justin Anthony Fields. Richardson. Nope. Nope. Justin. Mm, good one. Two, two, oh, B. John Robinson. No. Two interesting oh. ones. Remember, two quarterbacks and a wide receiver. Yeah, not a running back. So. Two interesting quarterbacks. Interesting. 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 Jimmy Garoppolo. No. Gardner Minshew. No. I didn't mean like interesting down there that much. <laughs> uh, Come no. on. Matthew Stafford. No. James Winston. No. Oh, he'd be, he'd be sick. Awesome. He'd be awesome. Dude, he might be the best one. He'd be yeah. my number one. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, you would want to live next to this guy. Cooper would, Cup. Dude, James no. Winston, for sure. The wide receiver is a weird one. I wouldn't want to. I don't know why you'd want to live next to him. He also has 1% of the vote. Kadarius mm. Tony. No. <laughs> I'd love to live next to him. <laughs> uh, top 20 wide receiver, though. I'll tell you that. What? Mike Evans. Yes! <laughs> no way. Let's Texas! Play. That's what I said. That's what I said. No Texas way. people. Mike Evans, 1% of the vote. He's 12. One. Shout yeah, out to my boy one. Jared. That's his cousin. All right, you got two uh, two quarterbacks. Come on. Here we go. Are they good quarterbacks? Yeah, it depends how you define good. Depends, if you're, giving them, depends if you're giving them the Hell Brock Purdy no. treatment or not, you know? Joe Burrow. No. I already said that. You want hints? Sure. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right. Janopolis. Both of them in the NFC. Gino. No. 
Mm. Think who you would want to live with. Matthew Stafford. No, he said that. Who would you guys uh, want to live with? Uh, fucking. Uh, I know you know this. Stevie Fajoko. Okay, hold on. Baker Mayfield. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. You just spit on me so much. Sorry, sorry. That's why I said Texas. Texas. Baker, Baker would Mayfield. be lit. He Bro, would be such a good one. For us all to live together, we'd have to be in Texas. I'm just letting you know. That's why I said there's Baker. That's why I said there's other Texas people on here. Yeah, this nice. one's a weird one. I wouldn't want to look like Murray. I don't care. No. Jordan Love? Yes! No way. What are you fucking I just on? Went, I just went through all the playoff teams. The That's young guys. The, yeah, the young guys. I went people CJ like young Stroud, guys. Baker, Mayfield, Jordan So the Love. most desirable neighbors of wow. 2024 for football players is Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, OBJ, Lamar, Josh Allen, CMC, Baker Mayfield, Brock Purdy, Jordan Love, CJ Stroud, Jared Goff, Mike Evans. Goes to show a little recency bias. You know, all the, that's playoffs, yeah, but right? some wasn't recent... everyone on that list on everyone's the playoffs? Everyone's on the playoffs. So that's what I was going through. Man. Now I'm not. We're not going to have to guess it because it might take longer. But you want to know some of the people that were voted for because they did football broadcasters as well. So football uh, can we talents. Guess? Can we guess? Can we guess? Okay, Fun you want to guess? Time. It's the last one. Okay, guess Let's do it. the most desirable neighbors of football broadcasters according to Zillow. Stephen A. Smith. Does he count? Does he no, count? No. It's like game broadcasters. Tony Romo. No, no, no. They're talent. Chris I'll say Collinsworth. talent. I'll say talent. Because he's Collins. funny as shit. Chris Collinsworth not there. Wow. Tony Romo Tony was Romo? there three. I do not want to live next to him. Greg Olson? I would not. No. Now, you know who talent. Be, you got to think talent. You know who would be there, though? Fucking John Gruden, if he was still on that shit. He was fucking dope. Is it current? It's all current? Adam? Talent? Oh, talent. So ten. Not, ten. There's ten. So they're not necessarily broadcasters. Correct. There are broadcasters. It's Ryan under Clark. football broadcasters, not there. Don't overthink it, guys. Uh, Dan Orlovsky. No, I would love to. Hell no, nah, Teddy Bruschi. No. Bro, okay. what? Greg Olson. That's what no, I you only got one, Tony Romo. Rodney Harrison. No, what are we doing? I'm, like, uh, that's, these are the guys I know, man. Guys. Who are the guys? Who okay. else are the guys? Mike Tirico. No. Hell no. Bro. Oh, Bob Costas. Bob no. Costas. Al Michaels. Oh, guys. Al Michaels. <laughs> ESPN. Stephen A. Smith. Uh, Troy Aikman. Okay, Troy Aikman's Troy number four Aikman. at 6%. Joe Buck. On there. He's, he's below someone. Big. Talent. John Madden. Who's the most talented NFL person right now? The biggest Pat name. Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee. There you go. Pat McAfee at 5%. Wow. Okay, okay. I got to broaden my, my scope a little bit. Pat McAfee, 6. On, Joe Buck, 7. I was just thinking on... I'll give you... I'll does give you a, Dave Portnoy make the list? No, but I will give you a layup <laughs> because on. who is near and dear to my heart at number 8? Very near and dear to my Dan heart. Dan Marino. At, nope. Who do you make fun of me for? Oh, Dan. Mike Greenberg. Mike Greenberg. Oh. 2%. Yeah, he's eight. dope. He's cool. I love Mike Greenberg. Okay. Number one and two. Very interesting. Trey Wingo. They're football guys? Football guys. All football guys. What? All okay, number one. No, who, no. Hit, hit, hit. Who would say some, like, older guy? Who would say some, like, weird fucking shit? Mad Dog. Collinsworth, bro. No, yeah, he would too, but. <laughs> Old guy with this. Quarterback. Weird. Quarterback? Matt Hasselbeck. Phil Sims. No. Fuck. I would literally. I'd Peyton Manning. Live. No. But he, oh. he's not on this list, which is interesting. Eli? No. Quarterback. Some weird shit. You want to know the team? AFC North. Ryan Fitzpatrick. No. Joe Flacco. Terry Bradshaw. Terry, Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw. Yo, he's fucking lit, he bro. He is great. Oh, okay. Number, you just opened up. Jimmy yeah. Johnson, he's got to be on there. Yeah, Jimmy yeah. Johnson's yeah. also on that Michael list. Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan. Yeah, there we go. go. It is. Up the All, right. All right. Now you just need two. Ryan he's, Clark. No, oh, no, no. oh, okay. Nate Burleson. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's phenomenal. Shout out CBS. He's and great. last but not least at number 10. Who's tied with Nate Burleson? Katie Mox. Actually, also tied with Aaron Andrews. I was going to say that. Aaron Andrews. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. It's it's man. It's, oh, it's, it's all men? Oh, that's pretty sexist. It is fucked up. Aaron Andrews. Has, has, has a brother. Tim Hasselbeck. Nope. <laughs> Eli Manning. Nope. Jason Kelsey. Nope. Can Travis <laughs> Kelsey. Nope. Still in the league. You can keep ripping. The brothers. Richard Sherman. Name. Oh, well, he's not in the... JJ what? No. no. You're getting close. Oh. Oh, 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 oh no, he's not in the, no, he's not oh, in the league. Come on, come on, come on. Now touch. Fucking long. Long. How we long? What? I was no. that's what I was gonna say, but then I'm like, Chris Long's not in the league no, no more. Come on now, it's not JJ. You want another hint? Yeah, AFC East. Oh mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. His brother it plays in the league still. Wait, his no. brother plays They're in right the AFC East, or he played out. in the AFC East. I'm gonna leave my hints to there. Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> no. What? No. I thought I hit that. No. I, Rob should count. But you're close. How is Rob not on that list? That'd be insane well, to live. I like agree. I said, there's an other at 3%. That's just saying. I don't fucking know, man. Nah, you're on. It's not Rob. You're Rob in had the same a brother. Realm. You're in the same realm. Oh, well. You're, you're close. Tony Gonzalez would be dope. No, no, no. He he, he broadcasts games. This German? 
Not a fan of him that much. Appears often on Good Morning Football. Might be actually a host of Good Morning Football these days. Oh, Good Morning Football. I don't know, man. Michael Robinson. No, no. Is that one, one guy there? His first name starts with a J. Oh, Jonathan Stewart. No. James Jones. No. Uh, Rex Ryan. Uh, come on. Johnny Appleseed. Really? Okay, I'll give you another hint. <laughs> McDonald's. John, John, the whole McDonald's had a <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. John McDonald. No. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey. Give another hint. Patriots. Uh, Chris Hogan. No. <laughs> Bro, who's a John, Chris Jones. John Jones. <laughs> Chris Jones played for the Patriots. Mc, Mc, and John Jones Mick is Jagger. brother. This is a broadcaster. <laughs> Can you just tell us? Johnny. Jason McCordy. McCordy. Jason McCordy. I was never guessing that shit. Doug, I don't Patriots, watch Good Morning Football. Same. Ever since, ever and since then my the halftime life. performers, we're not going to go through it, but it was number one was Snoop Dogg, number two was Jennifer Lopez, number three was Lady Fire. Gaga, we haven't four was yet. Rihanna, five, five Eminem, six Beyonce, seven Bruno Mars, eight Justin Timberlake, nine The Weeknd, ten Usher. Notice no Michael Jackson, you know? People are thinking ahead. <laughs> um, thinking okay, ahead. now my last game, all right? This is an open forum. That was a good one, though. That was that interesting, was right? I agree with that celebrity, that halftime performer one. Yeah, okay, so this is, uh, I want to, I made my own list, but I think it's best if we rank our own top 10. But <laughs> as we talked about earlier in the podcast, Lewis Hamilton going from Mercedes to Ferrari. Very weird. Just yeah. the GOAT, became yeah. the GOAT. Yeah, at Mercedes now going to basically his rival. Can't do that. So I would like for us to rank the 10 weirdest sports icons in different jerseys of all time. Oh, so ourselves? for we example, yeah, we'll come up oh. the ranking. So ex for example, now granted, it's going to be important to us also, not just someone like fucking in the 50s that went somewhere else, but like an <laughs> icon who was on a team for a long time, switched to another place and you're like, that doesn't look right at mm -hmm. all. So I'll can make. I can made we a list. throw some out just off the top of our I heads? made a list. I'm going to let you guys know. Okay. Okay. So well, no, no, but, but, but can we can we just, can we just really? No, 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 no. I'm going to give you people no, so no, no, that but can no, no, no. we, for the fun of it, just have a moment of excitement a, a of mo thinking? Yes, of bro. That's before fun. you tell them, well, I would say Brett Favre in a Vikings uniform. That's was a really good one. Crazy. I mean, the, the go-to for me is Michael Jordan in the Wizards uniform. No, I think Brett Favre in the Vikings was weirder than Brett Favre. Brett Favre in Vikings was weirder than Brett Favre in Jets for me. Because the green, then the Vikings felt weird one year. I had Vikings, I had them on this list. Um, the fucking, Do you want, can I throw out people or no? Can you give us a second too? Because you already did you have the fun list. of making a list. But I made a list for you. I, no, not, I didn't rank them. I'm saying I, I, I gave you I know, options. we want to think okay. of the suggestions first and then we will rank them. How's that for well, a fun game? You guys are. Um, fucking Tom Brady on the Bucks. Obviously that was weird. Um, think, think, yeah. Doug, Jerry Rice in that Seahawks uniform. I had Jerry yep. Rice in the Seahawks. That was crazy. That's whack. Especially because it's a rival. Montana uh, in the Chiefs. Joe Montana Chiefs, yep. yeah. yeah. Yo, low-key, Brandon Marshall with the Dolphins was some weird shit. It was shit. weird, That's but weird. I, I didn't put him on this. It I didn't put him in the... It was yeah. like on well, because you have to keep in mind, when people went to multiple teams, it just yeah. didn't... It doesn't Peyton hit Manning as hard. Peyton Manning on the fucking Broncos, Broncos. was weird. Peyton Manning on the Broncos was weird. That's I weird. thought that actually translated pretty smoothly. No, it no, just he, feels he weird. Obviously, he had some great years It's there, not about how like, it translates. It's more so just like it looks weird. It felt weird, yeah. Come on. Do one that's so near and dear to my heart. What is it? Hold up, no. Give us one. Please. Give us one. I want you to get it. Oh, Tyreek Hill on the Dolphins. Well, that that's was weird, but weird. I didn't. I had, had Devontae Adams in the Raiders weirder uh, than Tyreek. Yeah. Because Tyreek wasn't in Kansas City as long as Devontae was in Green Bay. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Devontae was there for like. Russell Wilson, Wilson on the Broncos. Drafted. Russell Wilson on the Broncos. 17. I thought that. No, you got to go deeper. Go deeper. Fucking weird. Come on. Who's near and near my heart? Think of another sport. Aaron Rodgers on the Think Jets. Think other sports, not just NFL. Oh. Oh, my, oh, oh. Dwayne Wade on the Bulls. 100%. And the Cavs, bro. Oh, the Cavs yeah. was disgusting. The Cavs, the Cavs is the, worse than the Bulls. The Bulls, I understand, because well, yeah, of Chicago, but he was Bulls in Miami for lit. forever. That, and then Cavs, he went, that was disgusting. I had the Bulls, Bulls like Cavs. Honestly, that Dwayne tarnished him a little bit, bro. Like, you should, we should have never seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, All right, can I start giving you guys someone so we can make our list? LeBron on the Lakers? Yeah, I put LeBron on the Lakers. I, I hated that. Kevin Garnett on the fucking... Well, that was disrespectful, yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, Gar Garnett on who? I, no, nah, never mind. He was on the Wolves for a while. Two Wolves for a while before he was on the Celtics. But yeah, there's crazy. some like ugly ones for sure. Dame Dalla on uh on the yeah, but you're going you're Bucks. super recent. I know that's all I'm thinking. Loki when Ray Allen went from the Celtics to the to the Heat, that was terrible. That was weird. Yeah, but think of think of yeah, another but, guy. But at that, this point, it was like iconic because he had that play. He made that shot. Yeah, I I totally agree with like that. It, you made you made up for that. Yeah, exactly. Think about a guy that bounced around but finished his career in Boston, but rival, like didn't belong in a Celtics uniform given. Where he played his years, for the most part, when you think of this player, I don't know. Oh, nah. Shaq, Shaq, 
Shaq, Shaq being yeah. in a Celtics uniform. From the Lakers to a Celtics, yeah, it's bad. He just bounced around, yeah, so it's not as. Lot, there's also like right. you guys wouldn't know, but there are definitely baseball players that are. So I put I wrote down some baseball ones. You did. I wrote down I can't each row on the Yankees. On yeah, the I just don't. White Sox. It doesn't. Yeah, but you didn't watch that. No, I watched every series. Each row on the Yankees. Ken Griffey on the White Sox. Each row on the Yankees was weird. I thought that's where he played most of his career. No, no, he was uh, with Mariners. 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 Yeah. So All right, let me start ripping some people. All right, we talked about Messi into Miami is weird. Oh, wild. Like, it's one thing, because I know he went to PSG. You know, and then places, Ronaldo like, in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, Al Nasir or whatever. Yeah. But Messi going to MLS, going to the MLS. Oh, yo, weird. David Beckham at the Galaxy. That shit David was Beckham crazy. David Beckham at the Galaxy. Um, all right, some other ones I had. I had. You got pretty much my list. Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari is in my list. I'll tell you, know you that was right weird now. as fuck? Yo, Adrian Peterson on the Cardinals, bro. Oh. Adrian Peterson anywhere is what I wrote. Yeah, anywhere. Oh. Anywhere but the Vikings. You want to know another one? Talk about the Cardinals. Emmett Smith. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, that was bad. Okay, ready? Dude. Here's one that you won't appreciate because it's bad. hockey, but Marty Zeke. Brodeur, the famous, he's one of the yeah, most famous it. goalies of all time. By the way, Zeke on the Patriots is a weird one. Yes, that's another good Zeke one. Zeke on the Patriots. 21 years. He was with the Devils for like 21 years, 22 years, and then went to retire with the St. Louis Blues. Um, Fucking weird. So, yeah, Emmett Smith, Ichiro. I wrote this one down because it's similar to the Brandon, Brandon Marshall, but it just felt weird. Andre Johnson on the Colts and the Titans over those he's two years spans. Yeah. I didn't know he went That's anywhere disgusting. else but Houston. Those are disgusting. Joe Namath with the Rams. Up. Julio Jones on the Titans was weird. No, Julio, no, Julio Jones, Jones on the Eagles. That's even weirder. On the Eagles is weird. No, that's I agree. No, that's Because on the Titans, he wore his number, didn't he? Yeah, like, he wore 11. This, he was 80. Now he's wearing... Yeah. No, I don't think he wore 11. Th- not yeah, AJ Brown had 11. Oh, no. you're right. You're right. No, no, he gave it to him. AJ Brown switched, I thought. Yeah. No, I think Julio wore two with the. You might be correct. I, I think the no, some because the number yeah, changes yeah, yeah, fucks yeah. it up sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Julio Jones wearing eighty now regardless 80 is weird. Disgusting. Okay, yeah. I had uh, so yeah, Emmitt Smith, Joe Namath, when he went to the Rams. Here's a random okay, one. That one, like, I didn't even know that. But, Tony yeah. Parker on the Hornets. What? The Hornets? In two thousand, from eighteen to nineteen. That was Did was that, that his last year? Yeah. That's bizarre. Oh, okay, God. Allen Iverson on the Grizzlies. Ugh. Wasn't as Nuggets and Pistons like it Pistons was bad. weird, but the Grizzlies was weird because Nuggets he was, just was getting, cool. They had a sick team. Nuggets was sick with Melo. Yeah. T Mac um, T Mac on the Knicks, you said. T Mac on the Knicks. Hakeem wasn't as weird on the Raptors for me personally, even though it was one year, but like and then I had Devontae Adams going to the Raiders. I'm probably missing people, but that's for the most part. So you want us list. to rank these now? So we gotta make a top ten. Can I give you my top ten and then I'll see if you just you could add sure, people? Because sure. that might be easier. So I had Brady on the Bucks number one for me personally. I don't think it's that weird. That was pretty weird at the time it happened. I feel like at the time it was weird, but because he won, it made it less weird. Correct. All that's right, so here's true. my here's my top ten. <clears throat> then I went Jordan on the Wizards, just like I, I think that's weirder there than the. Yeah. You guys won't under, get this as much because this is why I'm asking this to make this ranking. But Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari is fucking weird. Yeah, I'm okay. not an F1 guy. It's just like think sense. think of but like the, literally it. the goat of the sport for the most part, going to your and then going to your rival. Yeah, that's not ideal. It's like. Not what you like to see. Yeah, and he's been struggling too, so it's not like he's... Has he been bad? Well, the team. That's how F1 works. It's like the team and the car you're around. He's still a damn fucking good driver. And then I had Braun on the Lakers at four. Mm, I have a go on, by the way, when you finish your list. Joe Montana to the Chiefs. Like, that's weird. That just sat... When I think of Joe Montana, I don't think I feel the the same way back to LeBron for a second. Like, same thing about Brady is like, he went and won with that team. So, like, instantly to me becomes a little less I don't think about because of the success. It's just the fact that, like, when you think of LeBron... When I think of the Lakers, I definitely don't think of LeBron. And there's so many legends on the Lakers. And when I I think think of LeBron, LeBron, I think think of the Cavs. I think LeBron did himself a disservice. He did himself a disservice. Yeah. 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 Now, like, you're... you're, Even though he's one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest... You're never going to be in any Lakers list. Yeah, and that correct. hurts. That that yeah. sucks. I disagree. S- no, he LeBron. He, there's other guys. LeBron there. James is he's going to be uh, he's going to be a top five Laker. Never. Yeah, he will. It's going to be tough. He has one Mickey Mouse ring, and he missed the playoffs like hella times. It is somewhat of a Mickey. It's Mouse a huge disappointment. No, but he's LeBron Lakers, James. His Lakers hit the conference finals. They're going to put him there. They're going to put him there. Whether you think he deserves all right, to be there or not, they're going to put him. At six, I had Kobe, Shaq. Shaq yeah. Those are three guys that could okay. be ahead of him on the all time list. And then he's right there. You also forgetting about Magic Johnson. Magic. Yeah. Um, Jerry Rice at number six on the Seahawks was weird for me. Like, that just... That's I think so of, I think of Jerry Rice on the Niners. Then I went Messi into Miami. Mm. That's, that's, that's weird. That's weird. D-Wade on the Bulls and the Cavs. That's just At gross. eight. Peyton Manning on the Broncos at nine. Brett yep. Favre on the Vikings, specifically Insane. the Vikings. And then... So, this is my top 11, I guess. And then Shaq on the Celtics, 10 and 11. Other I, than that... I don't think Shaq on the Celtics... Like, it's weird, don't get me wrong, but he had bounced around so often at that I point. I know, but, like, when I think... When you think Shaq, you think Lakers. And so, when you think Shaq, you or don't Magic. think Celtics... Yeah, I guess Magic, too. But, like, when I think Shaq, you think Lakers. To yeah. think of him on a, in a Celtics uniform where there's so much rivalry and history and beef between those franchises... 
The Julio one was weird for me. I'll tell you what deserves to be in that top 10. Emmett Smith? No, fucking Donald McNabb for the fucking Redskins, bro. Oh, that was one dude. of the weirdest shits you've ever seen. Oh, yeah, not to mention he's like a one. rival. Like the reason Brett Favre to Ooh. the Vikings was so weird because it's like the biggest rival ever that he was playing yeah. this year, and he killed that year. That all right, you want to make a list? Then you want to make a list quickly? Sure. Okay, so number one, who do you guys think out of all the people I've mentioned? I personally, I had Brady. I just it's so tough. I I would personally. Go well, you got MJ. I have Brady. So who are you making? Uh, I'll go MJ. MJ on the Wizards is fucking weird. He didn't do anything he, there anyway. Yeah, but he's nah, still he had a good year. Actually, yeah, he was still <laughs> He was having like 21 or something. Very when key. I was looking up like how to define it, that's why. Yeah, yeah. but like. All right, number two. So number one, you got MJ on the Wizards. I, Brady, bro. 20 plus years on one team and then you go somewhere like. Yeah, but it was like a cross conference. Like to me, it was just no, like. It just, it's ugly. It just feels ugly. I want to go Favre on the Vikings. If, I want to go Favre on, Favre on the Vikings. I am not Favre on the Vikings. Well, if Brady had gone to the Bills. That would have been insane. The Jets, crazy. The Dolphins, yeah. crazy. But like, I guess because it's a division, yeah. yeah. I want to go Favre to the Vikings. Was that's well, that was so bizarre. disrespectful. He made Packers fans who adored him like they, he was their guy. He made them hate him. That's fucking bizarre. So you guys really want to put Brett Favre number yeah, two, bro? Fine. I gave my list. This is. This I, is I think we can. What's I just the think, weirdest. I guess we can go Brady because of just how iconic he was as a Patriot. Dude, yeah, we can. So him being anywhere else is weird, but like. Nah, it's your guys' list. You guys do it. I don't feel like it's like. I just striking. hope that you give something think, about him going and winning makes it instantly less striking at this point in time. I think you, know, you gotta like, give credit. <laughs> Yo, Antonio Brown on the Patriots is weird as fuck. That's a weird one too. I yeah, forgot yeah, that. That, that kind of uh, yeah. I don't care for Lewis Hamilton. So okay. Yeah, he should be there though. He should yeah. Be. Lewis Hamilton is going to Ferrari is equivalent. Could we just do to, our top five? It's yeah. like okay. equivalent to Brady fucking going. That's fine. To, so you should have him there. Going to like Yo, the Bills. To on the Eagles. Like I, it was like a good two years that he had there. But still, looking back, you think about him on the Niners and the Cowboys. That Eagles little run was so. All right, weird. this is your guys. We, we're just gonna do five because this is gonna take a while. It's otherwise. just hard. Um, fucking. Uh, Yo, JJ Watt on the Cardinals is weird as fuck. Oh, is that on your list? Let's put that. Three. It's gotta be, bro. Let's what what are we three. doing, bro? That's next. Yeah. Oh my god. I guess. Out of all the people that I have on this list, yeah, none, no, none no, are fuck weird. Your list. How weird is that, dude? JJ Watt's like a lifetime Texan. Like, you all might that. as well. You might as well. Um, MJ Lewis, right, let's LeBron, do, let's do LeBron on the Lakers. Jerry Rice, Messi, D Wade, Peyton LeBron Manning, on the Lakers is weird Shaq. Fuck, LeBron on the Lakers. Let's do LeBron on the Lakers. Le, le, that deserves to be in the top five. And then I would do Brady on the fucking. Bucks. Yeah. That's fine. I think Jared, Jer yeah. Uh, that's fine in terms of like keep significance. Riffing, keep riffing. You can't in terms of significance, yeah, it's huge. Like, six. Go to six. I think there's weirder ones. Like Jerry Rice on a Seahawks. Oh, let's a, do that. That's next. a Niners rival and everything. Okay. Jerry Rice. Did we add McNabb on the Redskins? Because that shit was weird, bro. It's up to you. Let's I, do it. I think it's there. Mm. Peyton on the Broncos was fucking weird. It like, was weird, bro. Uh, it was weird. But the fact about that Andre Johnson or Julio? Yeah, Julio. That's who I was going to say. Julio. Julio. I think it's on, on the Eagles. Julio, Julio, Julio on the, on the Eagles? Eagles? I agree. Yeah, it's weird as fuck, dude. Number 80? Ew. Ugh. Shaq on the Celtics. Shaq on D Wade on the Cavs. No, no, Messi, yeah, was, Messi, Messi, Messi. Messi. Okay, Messi, you want to re Messi rearrange into it. Miami because he's been at Barcelona his whole life. Yeah. When you but talk you about like PSG Ronaldo or something. Well, yeah. But Ronaldo was like, well, Ronaldo, was like, man, you, like, that was a huge part of that. Then going to Real Madrid. And yeah. Then, the only reason I didn't put Ronaldo, to, like, Ronaldo playing in Saudi Arabia, but Ronaldo was also at Cam Man Newton U and on then the Patriots. Went, to, went to Real Madrid and then went back to Man U. Cam Newton on the Patriots? Yeah, but, like, he... <laughs> that was weird. He wasn't in Carolina. That was weird for long as fuck, that was weird. That was weird wait on the fuck. Calves, bro? Now, nah, that shit's disgusting. I was <laughs> yeah, but that, that is, like, I want to throw up in my mouth. You want him at number nine? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Didn't, he, didn't he wear nine on the, on the Cavs? I don't remember <laughs> Bro, you're not gonna put like Shaq. Nah, I, I just think he bounced around so often. He was a ring. Like I don't care that much at that. Joe point. Montana on the Chiefs. Yeah, we, we didn't watch it. Yeah, so like, didn't I didn't feel it. that. By the way, you guys took out Brady. You don't have Brady in your list. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, if you right, let's put Brady ten point. then. You're gonna. I don't think it's that weird. You don't think yeah. Tony Parker? I don't. I got weird. used to it very. I don't quickly. think Brady on a bus. Emmett Smith got, on the Cardinals. That's disgusting. Tony Parker. Tony Parker's Ugh. weird as hell. But like, I don't. I feel like nobody. None of us remember that. Yeah. Uh, Devonte Adams on the Raiders. All right, put Emmett Smith. Put Emmett Smith. Smith on the Cardinals. So no Brady. No, I, I don't. No, I, don't I got used weird, to bro. that. Like I, I, how do you I don't, don't think it's that weird. All right, so your your guys' top ten in most notable icons on a in another weird jersey is MJ one on the Wizards, two Brett Favre on the Vikings, three JJ no, Watt on the Cardinals. <laughs> do you want to change anything? 
Darrell no. Revis on the Patriots. Ooh. How weird was that, bro? What? Bro, put You're that like, yo, one. he's one of the greatest quarters ever. What the fuck is he doing put on that, that defense? Shit one. And then they it? won the Super Bowl. You want him in there? That anywhere? shit was crazy. All right, I'll read you your top 10 and say if you want him anywhere. This MJ1, is fun, Brett Favre, Yo. two on the Vikings. Yes. Three, JJ Watt, Cardinals. Four, LeBron on the Lakers. Five, Jerry Rice on the Seahawks. Six, Donovan McNabb on the Redskins. Seven, Julio on the Eagles. Eight, Messi into Miami. Nine, D Wade on the Cavs. Ten, Emmett Smith on the Cardinals. Do you want. I, I like that so much. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking good. of other guys. But 11, like, 11 is Darrell Reed. I'm, sure so yeah. I'm sure there's so many other ones. Yeah, there's a lot of other ones. We're missing some good ones. I feel like we're missing some defenders. We're missing Jack a lot of fucking better. people, bro. <laughs> that's a good that's point. A, that's a crazy one. Dude. Jack I'm missing. Brody, I'm sure Jack, I'm missing. Speaking of Jack, he just texted us. Happy National Texas Day, Lee Bay. Oh, who shot there's a, I'm sure there's a lot more that I missed. But that's all to say. Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari. That's why I wanted to play this game. It's weird, bro. Shout out. Yeah, bro. So I know weird. we're missing a ton. Though. Those are great ones, bro. Fucking awesome. Yeah, man. All right, boys. We got to wrap up. We've nah, been going just, for a that's while. I just want to keep thinking now. I just want to, you know how like you see the memes and it's like, yo, guys can just s- just sit down and name just, like obscure players. Yeah, the exactly. you, they can sit there for like five hours and do that. Like that's how I feel right now. Like let's just keep going, bro. You definitely could think of more. <laughs> oh. All right. Can we just can we just come up with five more? Pat, five Patrick, more and then we'll end the podcast. Patrick, I have Ewing, a good one. Patrick Ewing on the Magic. Chris Paul on the Warriors. Yeah! Oh, that yes! Is so phenomenal! Good. That fucking can make gross. the top ten. That That's can make so the top ten. Good. That's so good. Oh, this that is can make the top ten. That was good. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, well, Russell Westbrook on the Rockets was fucking yeah. weird. Nah. Shit. I know he's bounced around, but like that was so weird to me. I felt that way about Kevin Durant on the Suns when he went first to the Suns. Yeah, that, that was, was weird. Like, that was like a year ago or yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. that was like two years ago, three years ago. I kind of. So, there's some Let's lean NFL just because it's obviously the NFL pod. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I oh. feel like some defenders were missing, bro. Imagine if like Ray Lewis would have played for another team, you'd be like, what well, Ed the Reed? fuck? He did. Ed Reed on the Texans. Yeah. Woo. Didn't he go elsewhere too? It was gross. I don't know. See? Low key. Uh, Von saying, Miller on the Bills. I never What's his got name? Used the to. Beard on the Rams. Uh, Ed Word or whatever his name is. Ed Word? You know no. What's his fucking name? Ed Word is a fucking writer. Ed Word? Uh, the Beard. The Eric safety. Weddle? Eric Weddle. Oh, yeah. Nah, Weird. didn't Eric, Eric um, didn't fucking Ed Reed play play elsewhere? He played out. You, no. you said Devontae Adams on the Raiders? Dude, the Jets. Ed Reed on the Jets. Ugh. Oh, he did. Ugh. Yeah. The Jets just get fucking Ravens, smashed. he went to Ravens, and he went to the Texans yeah. and the Jets Dalvin in the Cook same on the year. Jets. That's an ugly one, too. But That's, that's an ugly one. Zeke, Zeke on the Patriots is uglier uh. than Dalvin on the Jets, if that makes sense. For me, personally. Who are some other weird ones? Did Jamal Charles go anywhere else? Yeah, the, Jamal Charles on the Broncos. Yeah. Oh, he God, went. I oh. knew that. He, I knew that he went somewhere. That was gross. Tim gross. Tebow anywhere but a UF jersey. Yeah, J- Tim but Tebow, Tebow on the Met- Jags was fire, bro. That shit was Tim fire. Tim Tebow <laughs> in a New York Mets jersey. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Good fucking call. That's kind of dope. Yeah. Whoa. Cross sport. That was crazy. Michael Jordan in a the White, White Sox. Uh, Russell Wilson in a in a uh, Texas Rangers. Didn't, he, didn't yeah, Wilson yeah, yeah. get drafted by the Texas Rangers? Why do I feel we're like other sports? Oh, have yeah, he so did. Many yeah. Other ones. Uh, uh, Loki. Uh, 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 Michael Phelps swimming for Germany. DeAndre Hopkins in a Titans jersey. That's yeah, fucking that was, weird. That was weird. But once he went to the Cardinals, it fucked it up. I got used to it. I would, I'll be honest. When Rondo, when Rondo went from the Celtics to the Mavs, it was weird as fuck. Yeah, I remember was looking weird. at that and it just didn't work. Kyrie still feels weird for me in a Mavs jersey. Yeah, yeah he horrible. Just bounced around. Horrible. He just bounced around. Yeah. yeah. Kyrie's a Cav forever. No, no, no. Kyrie a Mav now, baby. Mm, I Not would still Mav. put D Wade on the Bulls. That deserves its own one. That's no. that's still weird to me. D Wade on the Bulls, yeah, that's weird. But D Wade on the Cavs, it, it was just so. Oh, man. What are some baseball ones? I, I don't know. I'll be uh, totally. Shohei. Honest. Yeah, Shohei and a oh, Dodgers. Oh, what about like? What, I don't know if it was weird or not. But like, did Bryce Rose? Harper switch teams? Yes, that was weird. Did he look at me, seem head? Because they're also the same division. So he went oh, from the Nationals to the go. Phillies, and they're. Total arch rivals. That was weird at first. It's fine now though because they fucking win. All right, let's wrap. Been, up. He's been James, ha- James Harrison when he when he I believe he went to the Cardinals too. There was some that's weird. Jack would have a beat ton them. of baseball ones. Yeah. That's, that's weird because James Harrison. Million. You know, yeah. by the way, yesterday was the uh, anniversary of James Harrison's ninety nine yard um, uh, int returned back. All pick six. Six. You want me to give you a good I, one? I, I, my brain. You want me to give you a fun. good one? I was one? at that game by the way. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, actually, one current that's pretty weird. Patrick Peterson on the Vikings is weird. Yes, but yeah, I'm gonna give you. But I'm gonna give you. What about him on the Steelers? Actually, him on the Steelers is fucking weird as hell too. Um, Zach Thomas on the Cowboys. Oh. You remember that? Matt probably won't know. That's a deep no. cut. Jason Taylor on the Jets. 
I didn't know that happened. That's crazy. I mean, Zach Thomas on the Cowboys. I remember was I was excited about that, and then he was ass. Bro, I'll never forget when Dolphin Icon Jason Hold up, Taylor. and Dama Cook shoot for the Dolphins, bro. Yo, that yeah. was weird. weird. Bro, that weird. was weird. Jason Taylor played, was was in Miami, and then went to the Jets in 2010. That was crazy. weird as fuck. Yo, remember Dominican Sue when he signed that sixty yeah. million dollar deal with the Dolphins? Yeah, but, for a but year? by that at that point, nah, it was fucking wild. Well, yeah, at that was, point with the Lions, he was a Lions. Lion for life, bro. He was yeah. the face of the Lions, but how long and he was, was the that? best player in football. He was like one of the best yeah, defenders in the game. How long was that for? In all Detroit? right, oh, uh, we could go all day, bro. bro. Go on hold on, hold on, hold on. He was with the Lions for hold four up. years. There might be one that went for four years. That's not that weird. No, nah, but he, but the fact is like it would be like Aaron Donald leaving the Rams because he was like the be- he was the best defensive tackle in the NFL. You, you want to know one that we didn't talk about? Mm. This is a really good one, and there's a couple teams probably that I would work for. Deion Sanders on the Redskins. Oh, Deion Sanders on the Ravens. Yep. I just want to see a picture of him in the Redskins. Both uh, of those in the Reds. On the both Red of those on the Ravens and the Redskins. On the Ravens, he wore 37. Like that, that made no sense. At least on the Redskins, he wore 21. I'll tell That's you right bizarre. now, which looks weirder, gut feeling. Redskins. Nah, when Ravens looks worse. Ravens is worse. What's the number? Yo. Yeah, 37. Shannon Sharp on the Ravens. <laughs> also a weird one. Weird, bro. Also a weird Super one. Super Bowl team, though. Oh, my God. We could go forever. All right. right. We got to wrap this shit up. Yo. Tell me that's not fun, though, bro. You can go That's a day. great game. Let us know in the comments if there are more names that we didn't get to say. But this <laughs> has been, been an absolute f- fucking pleasure and a fucking ride. Yeah. This studio uh, will forever hold a really warm place in my heart. Absolutely, I'm bro. I'm sad that we're uh, leaving it for now. Um, but oh, we will forever. be at Super Bowl next week. We'll be in Vegas next week, so be sure to t- be sure to tune in. We're also yeah. going to do a pregame show actually back here in the office. It might be in the studio, honestly. Maybe we do it in the Super but, Bowl uh, studio. But we'll do a pregame show before the Super Bowl. We're not going to do a watch along, but uh, be sure to tune in, tune in on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, wherever you follow us. Um, yeah, we'll see you at Super Bowl, fellas. Love Fuck you. Yeah. Bye. Hey, Thanks for listening to the Caps Off Podcast. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Thank you for following along with us over the last year and a half. If you like our content, be sure to follow us on our personal socials. I'm at Matan Man. We got Adam, who's at TGD Tabs, and Felipe, who's at the Felipe Fontes. Give us a follow, and thanks for watching.